Looks like we are getting cheaper DDR5 board now starting with this B760 motherboard from MSI. Hello and welcome back again to Junker Summit and our good friends from MSI sent this B760M Gaming Plus Wi-Fi for us to take a look. This LG A1700 Micro ATX board has been released at the same time with Intel's latest 14th gen CPU. So you can easily pop in your new CPU and you're good to go. And similar to my previous motherboard videos, this is going to be an overview with a couple of benchmarks as well as my insights. With that out of the way, let us do a quick unboxing. Upon opening, we have the actual board inside in an anti-static bag. And underneath it are some cables including our SATA 6 gigs for our storage, Wi-Fi antenna, M.2 standoffs, and finally some documentations for this board. Pretty basic as compared to other gaming-centric motherboards out there, but given that this is only 10,700 Philippine Peso, there is really nothing to complain about. Taking a closer look on this motherboard, starting on the bottom side, we have our front panel audio, a 12 volt RGB header, a fan header, two USB 2.0 front connectors which are usually utilized by coolers these days, four SATA 3 ports are also located on the bottom part, and finally, we have our TPM and front panel power and LED header. Over at the side, surprisingly, there is two USB 3 front header. We also have our Type-C header over here, and the 24-pin motherboard connector. It also has a debug LED which is great for budget board and finally a dedicated pump fan header. Top section includes an ARGB header, our CPU fan header, and a 8 plus 4 CPU power connector. As for its rear I.O., we have two USB 2.0 port and a PS2 port for your older peripherals. Oddly enough, we have four display inputs, two display ports, and the other two are HDMI ports. The blue USB ports are capable of 5 gigabits per second while the red one supports the newer 10 gigabit ones. Unfortunately, there is no Type-C over at the back but we have good network options including a 2.5 gig LAN and Intel Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.3. And finally, we have our audio port. As mentioned previously, this board supports 14 gen CPUs out of the box but it also supports both 12 and 13 gen CPU. While this is a budget-friendly board, this still uses a 12 plus 1 plus 1 duet rail power system with an extended heatsink design, which theoretically should be able to supply power even on i9 CPUs. We got two M.2 slots that is capable of Gen 4 speeds, and I wish to have an extra slot even if it's just Gen 3, but I might be asking way too much at this price point. Performance is great on this board as you can choose from a couple of power limit presets to potentially push extra clocks as long as you can cool your CPU just like what I did by pairing this i5-14400 with a cooler master tower heatsink. Also able to push my CPU to its limits offering significant performance gains as compared if we set it to its usual 65 watt power limit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to run my DDR5 memories to its rated 7200 megatransfers per second XMP profile but I wouldn't dive too much into it as there are a lot of factors to consider but I was able to easily run it at 6800 megatransfer per second which is fairly high speed already. As for my insights, this MSI B760M Gaming Plus Wi-Fi is a great budget board that includes most essential features while keeping the price down. At 10,700 Philippine Peso, you get a board with good range of I.O., decent VRMs with massive heatsink, latest CPU support out of the box, included Wi-Fi 6E module, DDR5 memory support, and lastly, a debug LED that is really useful when troubleshooting your system. And if you are looking for a new motherboard for your next Intel budget system, then you should definitely consider this MSI B760 board. And I think that's all for today. Comment down below your thoughts on this motherboard and I do hope that this video helped you in some way. Once again, this is Brain of Junkard Summit. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.